Hey guys, um, I just want to make a short follow-up video to our meeting. Thanks for everybody who was able to join us. Um, I feel like uh, we got a lot of information out and it's time for you to all to look through that information and see what kind of questions you have um, and fire them back at me. And then I will add them to the Q&A um, as they pertain to um, uh, the, the everyone as a whole, or if they're individualized, then we can work with you one-on-one -on -one to answer those questions. Um, there, as a follow-up, there were a couple things that I thought of after the meeting that um, uh, I should have brought up or that I wanted to bring up. Um, one of them was um, that uh, you will need uh, to make sure that you have, in order to travel um, in December, you'll need to make sure that you have what Illinois calls a real ID, okay? And I don't have mine on me or else I'd show it to you, but um, you need one of two things to be able to fly. Um, at that point in time, um, one is either if you have a passport, a current passport, if it's up to date at that point, you can use that instead, or you will need a real ID, which is basically your driver's license, um, but it's a, it has to have a little star in the corner. And the way you do that is you go down to your local driver's license branch and you have to provide a lot of additional um, uh, paperwork, like I don't even know what it is, your social security um, card, your, your birth certificate, things along those lines. Um, and I will put a link to that in the q and I'll put this in the q and and put a link to that. Um, but just you're going to need some the, the proper identification um, in order to fly. So just have that on your radar, maybe take care of it over the summer would be a smart thing to do to get that out of the way. Um, that's one thing. The, the other thing that I really wanted to hit on was um, the funding. I know that that's a change, right? That the, the cost um, last year was 2000 per student this year, it's uh, $2,250, right? So it's $250 more. Um, I want to touch on that a little bit uh, because of the increase in flight costs, right? Um, first of all, you know, when you break it down, it's $50 more a month on your payment. It's not, hopefully not a significant, you know, amount. That is 50 bucks is 50 bucks, but but it's not as much as it could be. The second thing I wanted to to address is to make sure that you know that we, myself and Dr. Fansler, um, the bands area, we're doing everything we can. And we have been, I've been um, doing everything possible I can to get that number as low as possible for you. Um, as you saw, the, the actual cost per person, um, the base cost for like all the land package stuff that we're doing while we're there, and the flight is 2365, 2365. And so that's what, you know, if, if there's parents or anybody else going, that's what they pay. Um, so we're apps, we're actually subsidizing that per student, um, meaning bands is paying that extra $115. And that may not seem like a lot, but you think about it, if we have 100 people go and we subsidize $115 per person, that's $11,500 right there that we are subsidizing. So um, we're doing that because we know you have to pick up the, um, you have to also think about those other things that, that aren't included in the 2250, like luggage and those sorts of things. So, so we're trying to help subsidize that. Um, the buses alone up and back are going to cost over $7,000. So you, you take, you know, the subsidized amount plus the buses, that's $20,000 right there. So when the question come up, are there any um, options from, from the university to help out with funding? We are. Is, um, are there any scholarships? Everybody's on scholarship. You know, everybody's getting a scholarship to go. We, we, we're covering as, as much as we possibly can out of our operating budget to, to make sure that the price is as low as possible for everybody to go. So I wanted you to know that. We are, we're not just dumping it all on your shoulders. We're, we're doing everything that we possibly can to get that price as low as possible. And to go to Hawaii for 2250 is pretty unreal, in my opinion. Um, so I wanted you to know that. I wanted it to make sure that you understood that. Um, I also did a lot of research as far as, so if, you, if you're looking for funding options, um, I, I did a lot of research with people who have done um, these trips at other universities, these kinds of trips. And there were two consistents. Number one is that the students always paid for the majority of the trip. That's just the way it goes. That's the only way to make these kinds of trips happen. Okay. Um, so this isn't like an abnormal thing. If you went to a really wealthy university, they just pay for everything. This is the norm, no matter what size or um, university you go to or anything. The second thing that was consistent with this um, was, um, oh, I just blinked. 
So, oh yeah, that, that it is much more effective for you to find your own ways of um, getting funding than it is to try and do some large scale fundraiser. Okay. Um, meaning that, you know, the, the, the people that I've, that I've worked, that I know who travel a lot with their university ensembles, um, they, they say it's pretty much a waste of time to do a large scale thing. Nobody wants to really contribute to the band going to Hawaii, you know, and nobody really wants to fundraise for the band going to Hawaii. But people a lot of times are very willing and open to donating to an individual going on a trip and having an experience. So it's much, much more effective for you to get a job, an extra job, um, work extra, uh, whatever it is, um, do a GoFundMe, all those kinds of things individually than it is for us to do something um, collective. It just, it just doesn't pay out to do that as, are the two things I found. So anyhow, I just wanted you to know that financially, I understand. Um, I've been a college student for uh, the majority of my life, <laughs> you know, and I understand uh, finances and that sort of thing, but, but these are the opportunities that you don't want to pass up, you know. I mean, you can you can get through and get your degree and get out with as uh, you know financially uh, savvy a, a way as possible, um, and those are good goals. But these are also the kinds of experiences that you're going to look back on and say, "Man, <laughs> you know, I am so glad I did that." So I hope that answers a couple more questions. Um, I just want to follow up with those things, let you know that we are doing everything we can to lower that cost. We've done everything we can so far, and I'm still, I haven't given up. I'm still looking at ways to um, take off costs at all possible, okay? And, and as those come through, I will definitely let you know. So take care, read all the information, look through it. Um, and if there's still some outstanding questions, don't hesitate to ask, okay? See ya, aloha.